We're going to do a quick test between the Executioner Broadhead and a Muzzy. I'm going to be shooting into a five gallon plastic bucket filled with water. We're going to test penetration. We're going to test how the Executioner expands. The reason I'm going against a Muzzy is because the Muzzy is the all time best selling fixed bladed broadhead. We know how well it's designed and how well it flies. Let's see what it does against the Executioner. Executioner is up first. I'm at about, this is 15 yards away. We'll see how it penetrates up against a real tough plastic pail. 15 yards. Executioner, let's see how it opens. See what it does to this bucket. Now, let's test the muzzy before all the water drains out. Same distance, I'm shooting a Matthews Creed, set at 65 pounds, shooting a Maxim Reds, the 250s. Come on, Cullen, get out of the way, boy. Come here. Come on, get out of the way. Sixty-five pound Matthews. 28 inch arrow. Let's take a look. We can see the muzzy is the arrow on the top. It completely went through the pail. We see here that the Let me just back, I'm going to pull this executioner out and kind of see what. The big hole is the exit of the muzzy. Unfortunately on this test they kind of hit the exit holes were the same, but you can see how that bottom cuts. You can see the executioner, executioner cut. One of the blades did break. The ferrule seems to be intact. But it did leave a really wide two, two and a half inch exit wound on the bucket. Did it open on impact? You can see that is the Executioner hole on the on the right, muzzies on the left. You can see that it did open on impact. We've got about an inch, inch and a half open on impact cut. The point is on these broadheads, here's my tip. I've been bow hunting ever since I was a little fella. Shot a lot of animals, tested a lot of broadheads. The number one thing to remember or to keep in mind when you're broadhead testing or shooting or hunting, your bow has to be in tune. Just because your bow is accurate doesn't mean that's in tune. I can take a bow that's out of tune and by adjusting the sights make it accurate. You have to have a, a bow that's in tune. It has to be accurate, obviously. You have to broadhead tune, you have to paper tune, you have to do everything to get your arrow to fly straight. I'm a little disappointed that the blade did break, but I am shooting in a five gallon bucket full of water. Five gallon bucket is comparable to a shoulder blade. It did penetrate all the way through, no problems. But on most mechanical or expandable broadheads, blades do break, they do bend because it's not a fair fight. You can always tell, you can see that on a fixed blade, the bottom part of the blade obviously is connected to the ferrule. It's not a fair fight about being a, a blade being broke. The blades out here, they're made to bend a little bit, 
They're made to move, which in turn gives you those extra, extra cuts, gives you a little bit more flexibility when it does go through a bone or over a bone. A tough, tough test for a mechanical head. If it had been a big old buck, both of these broadheads would have worked fine. Try the executioner. If you don't like expandables, don't like uh, mechanical heads, stick with a good fixed bladed broadhead like a muzzy. I guarantee you keep your bow tuned. You'll be all right. When I watched that footage in slow motion, I saw the blade of the executioner fly off and I saw the handle of the bucket lift up. I inspected the handle of the bucket and the blade broke because it hit the steel handle of my five gallon bucket. And you can still see just a piece of the blade still stuck in that steel. So, just to clarify, it wasn't the pail that broke this blade, it was that steel handle. Pretty tough broadhead.